where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Yesterday, we were walking through the last half of Psalm 145, talking about how God is king, not just king of his own little sphere of influence, but of everyone, everywhere, and all of the universe. He has unlimited power and authority in his eternal kingdom with no beginning or end, yet he gives us the choice to allow him to rule or reign in our life. Let me read the passage and then we'll pick up where we left off. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving toward all he has made. The Lord is near all who call on him to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but the wicked he will destroy. Verse 18 is so comforting. The Lord is near all those who call on him. What other king could be omnipresent, always with us like the Lord? He's always by our side. He's not just up there on his big fancy throne, only allowing his special courtiers in his presence at limited times. He's out with the commoners, in the highways and byways. Why do you think Jesus came to earth? The king of the universe became one of us. He voluntarily put aside his robe and crown, his unlimited power and glory, and came near to be with us, to be born as a helpless baby, to a poor family to know through experience what life was like for us. Then, when he went back to heaven, he came in another way, as the Holy Spirit, who is far less limited than Jesus was. He's everywhere, all the time, and is near us every moment, and even in us when we ask him to be. So no matter who you are, or what you've done, you can call on him for any reason. Moses said in Deuteronomy 4-7, For what great nation is there that has God so near it as the Lord our God is to us, for whatever reason we may call upon him? But now he's not just available to us through the Jews, but he's right beside us. Verse 19 says, He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He will hear their cry and save them. When you know and love the Lord, are in awe of him and reverence him for who he is, He will give you desires, and your desires will be his desires, and he will fulfill them. Then verse 20 says, The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Not only does our king provide for our protection, but he will one day completely destroy sin and put right all that's wrong in our world. Who wouldn't want a king like that? So now the question is, How do we respond to this king? This psalm answers that too. Verse 21 says, My mouth will speak the praises of the Lord. Earlier it said, All your saints will bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power and make known to the children of men your mighty deeds, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. So many people don't know about this all-powerful, almighty God. They haven't heard. And it's not just our duty to tell them, but it should be our pleasure and our delight. We should shout it from the rooftops. We should never stop talking about our king. He should be the main topic of conversation. His kingdom should be on our tongue daily, hourly, yes, even every minute. How will you speak of his glory today? Who will you tell? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. 
Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.